Hello students, welcome to Learner's Planet, our session of chemical reactions and equations. In our previous session, we discussed about types of chemical reactions, that is uh, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Now there are few more types of reactions, that is neutralization reaction. So these four types of reactions which were studied, they are the main and apart from that, there are few other reactions which we need to discuss. Now there is neutralization reaction. Now what is it? Neutralization is a type of double displacement reaction. This is a double displacement reaction in which the reactants are a base and an acid and the products are salt and water. Now in our previous slide what we saw was that there is sodium chloride, silver nitrate giving sodium nitrate and silver chloride. Now here students sodium chloride is a salt, silver nitrate is a salt. This is again forming both the salts. Now here this is a double displacement reaction that is nitrate is replacing chloride in sodium chloride and chloride is replacing nitrate. But this neutralization is a different type of double displacement reaction. In this what are the things? The reactants are bases and acid and the products are salt and water. Now the positively charged hydrogen ion of acid combines with the negatively charged hydroxyl ions or oxide ions of the base and forms a molecule of water. Now it might be a bit confusing for you. I'll write an equation here so that it's clear to you. Now this equation can be an acid. Say let's take example of any acid. Let's take example of hydrochloric acid. That is HCl. Double displacement always takes place in aqueous forms. Now HCl. This will combine with what? Base. Tell me any base or alkali. It can be sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide or any base. Now this is forming NaCl. Now this NaOH is again a liquid. NaCl plus of H2O. H2O is a liquid. NaCl is again a liquid. Then liquid state is formed. Now students, what is happening here is, what is acid here and what is a base here? The acid is HCl and your this base, what is the base here? Base is NaOH. Salt is formed in the solid state and this. Now here acid is hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide is a base, NaCl is a salt and H2O is a water. Now this, your HCl, what is it doing? This HCl is furnishing H ions. NaOH is furnishing OH minus ions and it is forming NaCl and H2O. It is a reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water. Now, acid and a base to form salt and water, there is no arrow here. I'll put one arrow here. Now, let's take this example. A neutralization reaction is basically a reaction between H ion and OH ions. That is H plus aqueous, OH minus aqueous gives what? H2O liquid. So what it is giving students? H2O liquid. So I had taken the example of NaOH and HCl and what I got was NaCl and H2O. So another example of a base. Now you know students what is a base or what is an acid? An acid is a substance which furnishes H ions in the solution. And a base is a substance which gives out OH ions in the solution. So here, what is an acid and what is a base? This CuOH twice. What type of ions it is going to give in the solution? OH ions. And H2SO4. What type of ions it is going to give in the solution? H plus ions. Now let's see how they will dissociate. If I will write, when I am writing CuOH twice, so this Cu 
OH twice in the aqueous solution it will give Cu2 plus ions and 2 OH minus ions and H2SO4 this will give what 2H plus ions and SO4 to minus ions in the solution so now you can very well make out what is an acid and what is a base so your copper hydroxide as it is giving hydroxyl ion in the solution it is a base your sulfuric acid as it is giving H ion in the solution it is an acid now it is forming what copper sulfate copper sulfate is a salt and water now see students this is a double displacement reaction OH is displacing SO4 to minus SO4 to minus is displacing OH so this is a double displacement reaction I have taken another example here that is zinc oxide with nitric acid gives zinc nitrate and H2O now a question arises in mind I am saying that a base is one which is giving OH ions in the solution but in this case of zinc oxide you don't have any OH ion from where this OH ion is coming so students what happens that your zinc oxide dissociates to form I will write here zinc oxide ZnO it dissociates to form Zn2 plus plus O2 minus now this O2 minus which I am getting will what what it will do is this O2 minus will combine with the hydrogen ions of water and form OH so this the OH ion form will react with H plus so this oxygen which is formed in this solution will combine with H plus ion and it will form OH minus now from where this H plus is coming or OH minus of water H plus it is coming from H2 it will form OH minus ion this OH minus ion will combine from what with what H plus ion now this H plus ion ye kaha se mil rahe humko where I am from where I am getting this H plus this H plus I am getting from HNO3 so this H plus combines with OH minus giving water so students those oxides which on dissolving in water gives hydroxyl ion are also categorized as bases for example sodium oxide NaO dissolves in water giving Na plus and OH minus ions again that OH will be formed by oxide of sodium oxide and hydrogen of water now potassium oxide or uh, any other oxide student, any other metal oxide so metal oxides are basic in nature so this is an example of neutralization reaction now moving to our next thing is oxidation till now we have done all the types of reactions now there is a new thing that is oxidation what do you mean by oxidation oxidation is a reaction in which oxygen is added keep this thing in mind is added or hydrogen is removed from a substance that is either to a substance oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed from that substance let's take an example addition of oxygen oxygen adds to magnesium to become magnesium oxide that is magnesium solid in our initial lectures that is in our second session I suppose or the third session I discuss about chemical change and in that we discuss that when magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen it forms magnesium oxide now in that thing what is happening students that oxygen is added so this is an oxidation reaction now there is another thing that is hydrogen is removed let's take example of this 
hydrogen is removed from hydroiodic acid to liberate free iodine that is 2hi hydro iodic hydro meaning hydrogen iodic meaning iodine so hydro iodic acid now from here this hydrogen is being removed and what it is forming is iodine so in this case students what is oxidized iodine is oxidized so what is oxidized here i'll put a note here that it is iodine is oxidized so this is about oxidation let's take uh, one more example that is hydrogen peroxide so student do you know the formula of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is h2o2 this is a very very strong oxidizing agent that is it cleaves and it forms what h2o plus nascent oxygen in one of our discussions i told you that single atom of oxygen is highly unstable so it is a very very strong oxidizing agent so this nascent oxygen adds up to other compounds say for example i am taking here h2o2 plus kno2 now students what is kno2 k is for potassium no2 nitrite so it is potassium nitrite nitrite now what happens i have seen i have written in the above equation that your h2o2 is giving nascent oxygen so that oxygen will add up to kno2 and here what will be the products form would be h2o plus kno3 so this is potassium nitrate so students what has happened here that oxygen is added to potassium nitrite and what is being oxidized here what is oxidized here is potassium nitrite this is oxidized so this is an example of oxidation reaction now we have another thing that is reduction so before the students i would like to discuss few more example of oxidation reaction say i'm writing an equation and you decide which is being oxidized and which is reduced that is h2o2 what is it students it is hydrogen peroxide i'll write it here hydrogen peroxide this is reacting with what h2s what is it this is hydrogen sulfide and what are the products formed students the products formed are twice of h2o and sulfur what is happening here this is sulfur is being precipitated so what is happening here students your hydrogen peroxide is giving up oxygen and it is forming what water and sulfur is being precipitated i in my example or in my definition i have told you that hydrogen is removed what is oxidation in our previous slide we discussed that hydrogen removal is also oxidation so this is what i am showing you in my example that is of hydrogen removal from where this hydrogen has been removed it has been removed from hydrogen sulfide and what is being formed sulfur so what has happened this is oxidized h2s is oxidized right so can i write here that your h2s is oxidized h2s is oxidized i'll write one more example here iron 
एफ पी दैट इज स्पेरम रियक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन और इफ यू बर्न आयरन इन ऑक्सीजन वट इज फॉर्म दिस एफ ई टू ओ थ्री लेट्स बैलेंस द इक्वेशन चिल्ड्रन हाउ मेनी आयरन आर दिस साइड टू हाउ मेनी ऑक्सीजन दिस साइड टू सो वट कैन आई डू इज इफ आई एम एडिंग थ्री इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस ऑक्सीजन How many oxygen are present this side? That is six. This side is three. Now, if I put two here, now how many oxygen I am having here? Six. Six. Now, what about iron, students? Iron this side is four, and on LHS is only one. So, what can I do is I can put four in front of Fe. Now, my equation becomes four Fe. Plus three O two gives two Fe two O three. That is iron when burnt in oxygen gives iron oxide. Can I can you tell me what is the formula of iron oxide? It is ferric oxide. So this is again an oxidation reaction. So wherever students either oxygen atom is added. or hydrogen is removed the reaction is oxidation reaction i hope it is clear to you and try to uh, do more and more examples then only the things will be clear to you now let's moving to our slides our next type of reaction is reduction so oxidation reduction is just opposite of oxidation oxidation was what addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen reduction would be what removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen so reduction is a reaction in which oxygen is removed from a substance or hydrogen is added to a substance isn't it opposite to the oxidation reaction let's see this example hydrogen adds to chlorine to form what hydrogen chloride gas this is hydrogen it is added to chlorine and what is formed is hydrogen chloride gas so what is formed here students it is hydrogen chloride gas now what is reduced tell me what is reduced in this case chlorine is being reduced chlorine is reduced let's take another example of removal of oxygen so that is oxygen is removed from copper oxide to form copper metal now what is this copper oxide it is a black colored solid when it is treated with carbon monoxide as the name indicates carbon mono means single oxide means oxygen so carbon monoxide gas what is happening students this oxygen is being added to carbon monoxide and what it is forming is carbon dioxide and copper solid so what is it oxygen is removed from copper oxide so this is a reduction reaction now students what is reduced in this what is reduced here is copper oxide is copper oxide is reduced so you can simply remember one thing and you'll get the other thing like if you remember what is oxidation oxidation addition of oxygen if oxygen is added hydrogen will be removed reduction addition of hydrogen and oxygen removal that is reduction now you can identify which is an oxidation reaction and which is a reduction reaction Now let's move to our next thing, that is alternative definition of oxidation and reduction. Now, if we here we are talking in terms of oxygen and hydrogen, but it's not always that you are having oxygen and hydrogen there. So, oxidation and reduction can be alternatively defined as oxidation as removal of electrons. 
that is when electrons are removed it is oxidation reduction is addition of electrons now this these two aspects that is oxidation removal of electrons and addition of electrons we will discuss in our 11th session of redox reactions so here you just keep in mind one thing that addition of oxygen is oxidation and removal of oxygen is the reduction that's it students because these are the things which will make you complicated this is just for remembrance that removal of electrons oxidation addition of electrons reduction oxidation and reduction reactions can occur simultaneously simultaneously means what students that is when one thing is oxidized the other is reduced if i go to my previous slide that is of copper oxide what is happening here from copper oxygen is removed it means copper is what what is being done with the copper reduced and two carbon monoxide oxygen is added it means what is happening to carbon monoxide it is oxidized so in this reaction what is happening here is that your copper oxide cuo is reduced and your carbon monoxide is oxidized so isn't that both the reactions are occurring simultaneously oxidation and reduction occurring what simultaneously now moving to the slide back oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction reaction can occur simultaneously these reactions are called as what redox reactions now let's take example of this the reaction of sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide what is happening students oxygen is removed from sulfur dioxide and added to hydrogen so in this case what is oxidized and what is reduced your sulfur dioxide what has happened to sulfur dioxide students so2 oxygen removed so what has happened to this it is being reduced and 2h2s what has happened oxygen added and what has formed is h2o so what has happened here oxidation so these two reactions are taking place simultaneously so this is an example of redox reaction so in every reaction student if one reactant is oxidized other has to be reduced now next coming to oxidizing agent means oxidizing agent a substance which gives oxygen or accepts hydrogen is called an oxidizing agent so if i'll write one more equation here or the previous equation here that was what so2 plus h2s gives twice of h2o plus sulfur three sulfur so here students what is happening is which is giving oxygen here sulfur dioxide your sulfur dioxide is giving oxygen to whom h2s so what is sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is an oxidizing agent so sulfur dioxide will be an oxidizing and so it itself is reduced sulfur dioxide itself is reduced it means oxygen has been taken play taken away from sulfur dioxide and what is a reducing agent a substance which gives hydrogen 
or accepts oxygen is called a reducing agent now h2s is giving hydrogen is accepting oxygen so sulfur dioxide is giving oxygen h2s is accepting oxygen so in this case what is oxidizing agent sulfur dioxide and your h2s is what it is doing it is giving hydrogen or it is in this case children in this case it is not giving a hydrogen i'm sorry for that in this case what it is doing is it is accepting hydrogen so in this case your uh, hydrogen sulfide what it is doing is it is accepting oxygen so h2s is accepting oxygen so what is h2s as it is accepting oxygen it is a reducing agent so is this concept clear children i'll repeat it again because it may confuse you oxidizing agent a substance a substance which gives oxygen like sulfur dioxide reducing agent a substance which accepts oxygen like h2s it is a reducing agent so this is all about oxidizing and reducing agents now see this example students copper oxide is reduced to copper what it is giving it is giving out oxygen so it is an oxidizing agent h2 is oxidized to h2o what is it doing it is accepting oxygen so it is a reducing agent just look at this copper oxide giving out what oxygen so it's an oxidizing agent hydrogen doing what accepting oxygen so it is a reducing agent so this is about oxidizing and reducing agents this is another example or this is the same one which we have discussed so students in this session we discussed about neutralization reactions the oxidation and reduction and oxidizing and reducing agents till now we have completed the types of reactions the balancing of equations and the oxidation and reduction things now in our next session we will discuss about oxidation or reduction reactions in our day to day life till then students practice as many reactions and equations you can okay